So this is a demonstration of the Olympus Digital Ureoscope. Right here we have the processor and the light source. For best image quality, plug in the DVI. And plug in appropriately. Back to the front, we're just gonna turn on the device. The processor, and turn on the light source. Next, we will take our digital ureteroscope. Plug in the light source. You'll see that there is a slight gap there. Verify that the up is identified as actually being up. And place that in. We have the working channel right here, and uh, the physician's controls, one, two, three, and four. Uh, number one is how you turn on and off your light source. The on, uh, push once to turn on, pull down to turn off. Uh, two is gonna be your white balance. Three is your MBI. Uh, <laughs> It's a, just a different setting for the physician's controls. And four is not configured, so please ignore. Uh, you have your control setting on the side to flex the tip. Uh, and then you have the emergency brake or little lock. You have the locking tab. On the right-hand side of the machines, we have the manual controls as well. Uh, these controls are for the processor. Uh, for the most part, these are pretty advanced controls and can be ignored. Uh, down here we have our uh, on-off standby for our light. We have the brightness, which is should be always on auto uh, and centered. It can be adjusted from here afterwards. Uh, you see an indicator light down here that gives the lifespan of our light source box and this up here is our NBI uh, readout you can see it's currently in standby again just another physician setting uh, for visualization be sure that your device is routed properly through the SDC for this will be the only way to take pictures on this device if the surgeon itself requests when finished with the procedure, please just turn the device off, push down on the tab to release from the processor, remove the light source, and place the digital ureteroscope in its uh, correlating basket to help protect it.